it's time. Wilfredo, it's your mommy's time. The baby's coming. I make us up for us and then it. Here's a water loose. Do you want to hold your little girl? She looks just like you, puppy. Oh, I'm not breaker. Don't be silly, Pedro. back any longer. Cuidado, mi friend. Okay. Your mommy has to rest, okay? This is to both of you. Take a look. Look how pretty. Look, she has your hair. And your nose. Your hair. Oh, my I will call her Delimar. Delimar. Okay. Do you like him? Sí. Delimar. 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 Pedro. Yeah. There's a lady here. She says she's a relative. She's a brakes fit. Who is a relative when the niño breaks, huh? Hola, Pedro. Oye, primo, you don't remember me? Mm. Valerie. I married your cousin Orlando in New Jersey. Valerie. Hi. 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 I'm sorry. So, Pedro, I heard you're having a Christmas party. Hmm. Who hasn't heard? Was it on the front page of the newspaper or something? <laughs> so, can I come? Maybe bring my new boyfriend? Uh, what happened to Orlando? We split up. So I'm seeing somebody new. Oh. Okay. Your brakes are fine. Then you have a date with him. Can you fix it? I'm busy until Monday. That's okay, I can wait. Okay. Cool. All right, so uh, I guess I'll see you at the party? Yeah. <laughs> Can meet your wife? Okay. All right. Hey, right. primo, can I still drive it? Uh, sí, no problema, but don't go too far. Okay. Delamar, that's a dorky name. Delamar is a beautiful name. It means by the sea. I like this. We call him a spitter. <laughs> oh! What did you bring us, Tia? 
Do you see the leche? Can we have some milk? Can we? One piece. Okay, go. Thank you. Go. Thank you. Smile. <laughs> I bought three of them. For the other guests, like a Carmen's wedding the other day. I know, do it again, Tatita, mm -hmm. with the limal next to the tree. Hey, <laughs> and who's gonna pay for the film? like a poor but that's okay because if i had tetas like yours my boyfriend would be even more jealous than he is now it's such trouble these men my pedro was afraid to hold the limal he doesn't know what to do con una nena oh my god well, at least my brain's good he's babysitting right now well, you're lucky to have them I know. both lucky i'm gonna go check on the baby oh i wanna go see her come on Let's go see the baby. Cosita linda. Ay, mamacita, she's beautiful. Yeah, just like a princess, Luz. The rich lady whose house I clean has lots of toys. She'll give me some for the lima. Let's hope they're big enough. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What is so funny? Shh, 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 shh. Don't wake her. Don't wake her. Uh, she's such a good sleeper, yeah? Not fidgety like mine. Little doll. I don't think that's a good idea, Luz. Babies like to sleep in the cold. Makes them lungs stronger. Eso son cosas de viejas. No. It's not a wife's tale. I have to go back downstairs to see what other tea that is Pedro has let in the house. Oh, 
let's go. What a night, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. What's on the stove, Luz? Nothing is on the stove. We're out of everything. Can't you smell that? Is that what did he say? Oh, he's burning something. Did you smell something burning? Delimar. Delimar. 
to go home. I want to hold my baby. Luz. Oh. The Lemar is up. She's dead. There is no home. Start over, okay? Okay, mommy. Okay. Can I just hold her? I want to hold my baby. Can I just hold her? I want to hold my baby. This is Lucy, and she might be able to help you. I'm Lucy Camarena. I am very sorry for your loss. I gave Tatita my card in case you need to talk to me. I'm a social worker. I might be able to help you if you feel like you need it. Gracias. My baby is not dead. What are you talking about? The window was open. I saw it with my own eyes. Gracias. Carlos, he got what he could from the house.
gracias, Pedro. Gracias. I'm so sorry, Pedro. I just I wanted to pay my respects before I go back home. Prima, uh, I didn't get to fix your car. Please, do not worry about that, okay? I know what I saw with my own two eyes. As I was trying to get to the Limar, I saw through the smoke. The crib was empty. I saw the window. It was open, but I closed it earlier. It's okay, Luz. Just calm down. You were there. You saw me. And you. And you too. When we were up there, I brought the heater close. And I closed the window. You told me not to, remember? No, Luz. I told you not to put the heater. Oh, you saw me close the window. We don't remember. It could have been open. Who knows? Luz, amor, it doesn't matter. Pero por supuesto que it matters. The window was wide open later. So what? So someone stole the limar. Maria, you need to stop talking like someone this. Someone started that fire. Luz, enough. It was your heater that started the fire. That is what the fireman told me. I don't want to tell you. Because I don't want you to suffer. No. It was the heater. That's not true. You should have never put it there, Luz. Things are going crazy. <laughs> you saw them take her away. They put that bundle in the ambulance. You saw them. I don't believe it. We will bury her loose. And then you'll find a way to accept what you don't want to believe. to the Limar. I want to see her. Yes, please. Pedro, I want this. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, there are no human remains in the bundle given to us by the fire department. Uh, what's in the bundle? 
it appears to be burned material from a mattress. Excuse me. We're looking for the fireman who wrote this report. Uh, Captain Jordan? Well, sadly, when a baby is this small, it can be um, completely incinerated by the heat of the fire. That's why there were no remains. Why did they carry the bundle out of the house? Um, unfortunately, ma'am, uh, firefighting's not an exact science. Yeah, you have to understand the conditions. Fire raging out of control, the uh, split-second decisions. Those firefighters grabbed what they thought were uh, the child's remains. Then, uh, we can't even bury our child? I can't tell you how sorry I am for your loss, sir. Uh, we did the best we could. We have to have something, Pedro. If we can't have a funeral. So we have this. To say goodbye. What are you doing? Luce, it isn't good for you to be hanging on to these hopes. You can't tell me what to do or when it's time to give up. Luce, Amor, it's not good for Israel, for Wilfredo, or for me. For you. See. Si. You weren't even home, Pedro. Luce, don't blame him for what's going on. ¿Y por qué no? He lets all these strange people into our house and then he goes away. One of them stole our baby and he wants to forget about it. And then blame me for starting the fire! No, that's not what he's saying. Luz, Luz! Luz, Luz, where are you going? Luz! Hi, uh, can I help you find something? I'm looking for a space heater. Did you sell them? This way. No, no, not like that one. That one. Is he safe? Of course. Can it make a fire? A fire. Explode, you know? Can it catch a fire? No, it's almost impossible. It has many safety features. You, you, you see the cage? That's very modern. And if you tip it, it automatically shuts off. It's very safe. Should I ring it up for you? Thank you. Luce! Luce! Where are you going? I didn't start the fire. I saw the same one, the same heater. Come on, amor. Come on, let's go back to Tatitas, okay? They're safe, Pedro. It wasn't my fault. Luz, it doesn't matter. Your fault, the fire, the heater, it doesn't matter. Take me to the police. What? No, I'm going to tell them to find my baby. Luz, just stop. Listen to me. She was my baby, too. Don't you think that I want to believe somehow that she's still alive? I want to believe you. But I was there. And I saw with my own eyes. So how will you convince some policeman who doesn't care about you or some brown little baby when you can't even convince me? Luz, amor, you have to open your eyes and see reality.
Mucho, mi nene, que me kiss. Oye, Luz, I've got something for you, mami. Okay, go upstairs, mami's tired. Okay. Mama, friend. Elsa. Oh. Mira cómo te trajo cosas. Mira, I can use this. Mm -hmm. Qué bien. But there's something else. Uh, remember those cameras I brought? Mira, that one. She didn't know she should send them over and I make you too sad. No. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It is a miracle. It's the only one in focus. Because <laughs> the rest are pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe one day, when she comes back, we will get a lot of nice things for the Limal to wear. But let me see who. It's pretty. You're crazy, my hair. Now you're putting your crazy thoughts into my sons? Then I go upstairs and help Tatita. Go, now. my work and insult me now this stop calling me crazy loca tu estas loca now what is wrong with you 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 are what's wrong with me if you don't listen to reason you don't listen to me is that what this is i don't listen to you well why should i if you were a husband you would believe in me and if you were a man pedro you would go get your daughter Calle. Give it to me! Give it to me! I don't care what you do. I won't let you make the boys crazy like you. Waiting for a dead sister. Who's it coming back in a pattern? You should have been there that night. You should have taken care of us. You didn't save your own family. She isn't coming back! And I'm not coming back either. Good. Then get out! Get out! hasn't come back, your husband. Mm. 
How long has it been? Um, I'm not sure. Months? Do you still think you will find your baby again? Do you think about this? The Liman? Of course. You're not a mother, are you? No. If you were, you wouldn't look at me that way. I think about her every day. At night, I can feel her against me, in my arms. Sometimes I hear her breathing. Luz, sometimes our minds create things to protect us from pain we can't deal with. You're gonna tell me I'm crazy just like everybody else? No. I'm going to tell you that you're going to get better. You're a strong woman, Luz. Time will heal you. And one day, you're going to force yourself to make a choice between holding on to this hope and the other path. Yeah, what other path? Wilfredo and Israel. Your two boys need their mama. They've needed you all this time. They need you today and they will need you tomorrow. You're their mother too. Come back if you need to see me. In the morning, the line is not so long. Luz? Let it go. Let time wash this pain away. Party. I can't. What do I have to wear? Well, if you would come out with me sometimes, I would find something for you. But you have your chanclas. What's wrong with my shoes? You see, I don't have anything to wear. Hey, come yeah. on, wear something of mine. I think that guy's going to be there. El guapo. The one with the fancy car? Mm -hmm. Luis. You love him. He talks with his eyebrows. What's to eat? Yeah, we're hungry. Tell your mommy you want to come to Monica's quinceañera. Do we know Monica? Si. She's your papi's uncle's wife's cousin's brother's... Never mind. Like, whatever. She's your cousin. Who is it? Will there be food? Yes. Lots of food. And a big cake. <laughs> Te vas a quedar sola. Yo tenía mi casa. 
con me veo. Ay, ¿cómo ¿Cómo es ¿Cómo ¿Cómo Paula. Paula, this is my good friend Luz Cuevas. Oh, welcome to my home, Luz. Thank you, and congratulations on your daughter's quinceañera. Everything is lovely. Oh, thank you. Muchas gracias. Let me put this down, okay? Okay. Go get yourself something to drink. Thanks. Thank you. Did you bring your boys? Oh, see, they're over there eating. ¿Qué más? They're bigger every time I see them. Hey, chica, don't touch that cake until this time. I warned you. <laughs> and you remember Valerie, see? She just moved back here to Philly. And she's staying here with Paula until she finds a place of her own. I have to steal her from you a minute and say, see. Okay, just go. I'll see go, you later. Go, 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 Mingo. Okay? <laughs> Luis, this is Luz. She's the one I was telling you about. <laughs> Luz. Luz. Hey. Luz. Luz. You need a little fresh air. Mommy! Mommy! Oh, my girl. <laughs> this is my daughter. Come on, let's go sit down. That's the limon. Okay, you're as white as a ghost. Come on. Come outside. But that's her. Don't you see? Yes, that's easy. Want to meet my friends? Luz! Hi! My God, it's so good to see you. I almost didn't recognize you. Did you lose some weight, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. You look really good, Commander. I'm hungry, Mommy. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. This is my daughter, Amia. Can you have some cake? No, you cannot have some cake. It's going to make you fat for your audition. She's a model already. She's done a few commercials so far. But one day, we're going to get her into movies, right? Well, it was really nice seeing you. If you'll excuse us. Ciao. Okay, okay don't, don't make a scene. Vamos. Vamos. What do you think you're doing out there? Did you see? That's Deliman. How can you say that? Deliman was only 10 days old the last time you saw her. Didn't you see? She looks like me. My eyes, my mouth. I saw a little girl. That's all, Luz. Luz, calm yourself, okay? I'm going to take you home now before you embarrass us, okay? No, I need to think. Okay, okay. I'm okay, need, come I on. We're going home. No. Luz. Luz. <laughs> Red better, see? Red is my favorite color too, Mamita. Me too. But sometimes I like blue though. Can I see what you color me? Aliyah, are you up there? Wait, wait. Is is that gum in your hair? Get it out. Okay, okay, wait. Let me take it out Get before it, it gets out. knotted up, okay. Okay. Ow. Mother, have you lost your mind? It was you. It was you. What are you talking about? That is my Delimar. Tatita, get her out of here before I call the police. Israel, Alfredo, let's go. You stole her from me. Get out of here. She stole her from me. You stole her from get me. Get out of here. That is my daughter. You're scaring her. That is my daughter. You have lost your mind. Get out of here. I'm scared. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Do you know her? She was married to a relative of my first husband. He left her because she's crazy. What do you mean by crazy, mommy? Just means that she's very sad. We're gonna pray for her tonight, okay? And then we are gonna forget that this whole thing ever happened. She didn't scare you too much, did she? Okay, good. <laughs> Let me get
Everyone knows about DNA, Tatita. You just have to watch the television. You can't go acting like this again, Luz. Pulling hair out of a child. DNA. I beg you, don't start this up again. I told you she didn't die. I can't hear this. I always thought somebody from the party took her. Do you know how this makes you sound? I don't care how this makes me sound. I'm doing this. What if Valerie tells the police that you touched her daughter? It's not her daughter. It's Deliman. And now I can prove it. to prove this came from my own daughter. What is this? Here? Mm. This is a police station. We don't do DNA tests here. Wait, por favor. Where do I go? You need a laboratory. And you pay for the test. Okay. How much? I don't know. $800, $1,500. I wish I could help, but you're in the wrong place. Wait, please. You have to help me. I don't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Next. What do you need? Él lucha por usted. Ángel Cruz, la voz del pueblo. Únase a nosotros. Ángel Cruz es el futuro. Ángel Cruz, la única opción. Únete. So I got no heat, I got no water, and Hi, she needs Mr. to Cruz? get paid on the back Yes, rent? is the mayor on line five? Yes. So you're gonna have to come back tomorrow. I can wait. Mr. Cruz's office? Please, can you help me? Yes, I will help you. Just give me five minutes, okay? Yes, you can help me. Yes. Yeah, I know that, sir. I have to put you back on hold. I have to put you back on hold. Just hang on a second. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll be right there with you. I know, just one moment, please. Oh, 
Okay. I'm off to lunch. If they call, please tell them I'm on lunch. Él habla para usted. Él lucha para usted. Bella. The voice of the people. Who are you? I am Luz Cuevas. Very nice to meet you, Angel Cruz. Did you have an appointment? No. Well, why don't you make one? No, no, no. Excuse me? Do you remember what it felt like to have nobody listen to you? Before your face was on all these posters. When you were just some invisible Latino nobody. Did you believe in your heart what you had to say or did the words just sound good? The voice of the people. I believed, I still do. Then you know that there comes a day when you can't take one more, come back tomorrow. I am sorry, Senor Cruz, but this is that day for me. And I'm sorry, Ms. Cuevas, but I'm late right now for a lunch meeting. Do you want to walk with me? So I have to go here now. This is, uh, I have lunch with a bunch of campaign supporters and I really can't be late. So, will you help me? Thank you. Okay. I would like to, I would. But what? But I need to think about it a little bit. It's, it's not like on TV. I can't just uh, do a DNA test on the hair. We don't know whose hair it is. What I told you. I know, but I need a probable cause to have a court order a test. I need your DNA and the child's and this woman's and uh, it's an invasion of privacy if there isn't probable cause. But the fire and Luz, the... let me think about it, okay? Señor Cruz, mm -hmm. do you believe me? Sí. <gasps> sí. Okay, so at 3 o'clock, you have to meet with the Electric Manufacturers Association. Mm -hmm. Then you have a fun drive with the adult services people. Yeah. You have to be at the hotel. Remind before... me, I have to call that guy Jim before I go. And I need you to get me all the records on a fire that happened six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah, anything and everything you can find. And this is the address of the house that burned. Okay? Okay. Great. Thank you, Gloria. Pedro. Hola, Luz. You're not at the garage. No work. Maybe soon. Um, did uh, Wilfredo get that shirt I left for? Sí, he liked it. Um, they would like to see you in person. I have to talk to you about something. It's about Delimal. Pedro, wait, wait, Pedro, I saw her. She's six years old. She looks just like you and me. I know it in my heart. Luz. Don't say it, Pedro. I know how it makes me sound, but is that? I know. You don't have to believe me. I'm glad to hear that, Luz. Okay. I'm going to bring her home.
Dingo. Hey, Jesse, man, I wanted to see you. Angelino, what's going on, man? I'm good. You missed the game the other night. The Sixers were on fire. Yeah, yeah. I had a late night, but I caught the last quarter at home. You got a minute? No. Too bad. I got a case I need Julian Gutierrez to take a look at. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Man, you bet you will. So they open the bundle, find a burned mattress, no human remains? She was told by the fireman that the body was totally incinerated. Well, that's a problem right there. Why? A fire that size will only burn up to 1,600 degrees. You remember the forensics on that telco warehouse fire? Yeah, I mean, it, a body wouldn't incinerate at that temperature. Not even a baby. I mean, it's just physically impossible. Hmm. And yet, supposedly, that's what happened. What's your gut on this? Well, you know, this woman shows up with this story. It's, it's obviously implausible. What are the odds? On the other hand, if there's even a chance that she's right, that she just found her kid after six years of what she's been through, I think I owe it to her to find out. Okay, we'll bite. Excellent. We're on a prior on this woman, uh, Valerie Balleja, two L's. Done. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, don't think I'm gonna vote for you. You will. When you will. <laughs> Coming, mommy. Hurry up, you're gonna be late for your audition. Pretty. Okay, big smile. Nice. Do you know how lucky we are? Why, mommy? Because we have each other, and we always will. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Detective Brickman's on the line. He has information on Valerie Maya. Talk to me. Hey, listen to this. Valerie Vallejo was arrested in Tampa, Florida seven years ago this month and charged with embezzlement and arson. My God. What'd she burn? The office where she worked. Seems she was trying to cover her tracks after stealing checks from her employer. She pled guilty. she do any time? You know, 50 days in jail. And then perform community service. And what, five months after that, she's at a party where another fire breaks out and a baby girl just disappears into thin air. This is probable cause, no? It's a textbook. I'll get a court to order a DNA test. We'll see if she stole more than checks this time. Great. Thanks. That's it, Aaliyah. Big smile. Now say the words. More chocolate chips make me smack my lips. That's it. Now pick up the cookie. And eat it. Luz Cuevas? Yes? We're Detective Rickman Gutierrez from the Special Victims Division. Angel Cruz has asked us to talk to you. Okay. We're trying to locate Valerie Vallejo. Representative Cruz thought you might be able to help us. Yes, I, I know where she is. Did you? Did you? <clears throat> Can you tell me why? We discovered that Miss Valleja was arrested for arson seven years ago. No. We have a court order for a DNA sample on Valerie and the child. I can tell you where to find her. How can you come here and ask for such a thing? This won't take long, ma'am. Our technician's just gonna swab your mouth and then swab the child's, okay? You don't need DNA. Just open your eyes. She's a good mother. Valerie, show them what you show me. The birth certificate. It's okay. Bella, it's okay. I want them to do it. That way that crazy mujer will leave us alone once and for all. See? Is the child here? She is. She's upstairs. She's getting pretty for you. I told her we were casting a commercial so she wouldn't be scared. That's fine. I'll go get her. <clears throat> Here. Look at this. This is the birth certificate of the child. You can look at yourself. Alia Ann Santos. Born December 5th. Parents, Valerie Valleja. I'm Brian Santos. She showed me this after that crazy mujer made a scene at our party. You should be arresting her.
I waited so long. And now what I prayed for is finally coming true, but... What? What if I'm wrong? What if Delimal is not that little girl? What if... What if I know my little girl is out there somewhere, but I don't know where? I'll be looking for my little baby for the rest of my life. audition for the commercial? It'll be just like that, okay? See, Mommy. Okay. You look real pretty. Wait, wait. Sit down. Okay. Open your mouth. What is it, Mommy? It's nothing. Something for the commercial, okay? Open your mouth. Do as I say. Open your mouth. Pay attention. You cannot tell anybody. Claro. Okay. There. Finished. And it didn't hurt, right? My mommy spit something funny in my mouth. She did what? I'm not supposed to say. I need you to locate him. Brian Santos. Brian Santos. Hispanic male. Birthday. What's his birthday? Well, yeah. Valerie and I were going out. But after she got out of jail, I told her, I don't want to see her anymore. You know, not seriously. And then she told me she was pregnant with my baby. I didn't believe her. But she kept calling, you know, begging me to get back together, saying we should be a family. I felt sorry for her. And then one night she called me to tell me that she's in the hospital, she's pregnant, and she's bleeding, and she's losing the baby. But you didn't believe her? No, about the pregnancy? Well, you were sexually intimate with her, right? Yeah. But she had her tubes tied two years before that. I paid for it. Okay, there's no way that she was having any baby. Wait here. Anything? It's unbelievable. She had a tubal ligation. Her certificate doesn't add up either. The state registrar said that she didn't have to present the baby to get the certificate, only an affidavit. Did you get a copy of the affidavit? No, they said they must have accidentally destroyed the original. Oh, that's great. Bureaucracy in motion. I'm going to release him. Pedro, please, this has to be done. If it turns out that Valerie has our baby... You will never forgive me, will you?
Hello? This, this is Agent Cruz. See? I have the results of the DNA test. Okay. Can you meet me in my office at 2 o'clock? Okay. Good. I'll see you then. Well? We have to go to the office. I'm scared, Tatita. I know, Mom. I know. Come closer, Monsieur. Your mommy needs you. Come. Okay. Hey. The DNA was a match, and the girl is Delimar. <gasps> A woman from Family Services is with the detectives right now, and they're on their way to pick up your daughter. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's gonna be fine. We're gonna go to a nice new place, okay? Now hurry up, get your jacket, put, put this side of the door. Where's my keys? My keys! Come on! Oh my god! Where are they all? Hurry up! Adia! Just leave it, we'll get you another one! Hurry up! Family services. Please come out of the car. No, no, you're crazy. You are all crazy. Just, just leave us alone. It's all over, Valerie. Open the door, please. Leave my mommy alone. Go away. What are you doing? Go away and leave us alone. Valerie, open the door. No. Open the door. Open the door, Valerie. It's over. <laughs> Aaliyah, it's gonna be okay. Give me a moment, please. Please. Okay. Listen, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna go with a nice lady, and she's gonna take care of you, and I'm gonna come get you, okay? Okay? I love you, Aaliyah. Please don't give her any false hope. Aaliyah, don't forget me, okay? Aaliyah, please, I love you. Aaliyah, don't forget me. You're my girl.
Campos just headed into the courthouse with her attorney to meet with the judge who will officially rule on the custody of her young daughter, Delmar Vera. Cuevas knew in her heart that her daughter was alive and against all odds clung to a mother's intuition when no one else would listen. Today, her persistence and determination have paid off. Philadelphia lawmakers will investigate members of the police, fire, and medical examiner's office to find out how the system failed her six years ago. In spite of everything, this mother never gave up hope. Miss Cuevas, I am recommending that you meet with Delamar in a neutral place for a few times before you... I can't take her home with me. Your daughter needs time to adjust. She doesn't know you are her mother. I will teach her. I have waited so long. Please, don't make me wait another moment, please. I appreciate your urgency, Miss Cuevas. I know you have endured for six years more hardship and grief than most people could have taken for a month. And now I am asking you to wait a few more days for the sake of your child. Let her meet you gradually. Give her this time, and then you will have her forever. Pedro. Hi. Hi, um... I saw you on the television. Were uh, you gonna tell me? That I was right. Are you trying to keep me away? Who's I'm her father? I um. Uh, I should have listened to you. You were right. All I ask is for a chance to be part of her life. Do you think you can forgive me? Please. Told Aaliyah that she's going to meet you. She is confused and wants to know when her mommy's coming back for her. She met Valerie. Finding her was the happiest day of my life. It's strange that it's the saddest day of her life. Mm. It would be best for now. If Luke's came in alone, we don't want to overwhelm her. Are you ready to meet the lady I told you about? Did I do something bad? No, no, mi amor. You are a very good girl. You're the lady from the party. I remember you. Yes. I remember you too. From a long time ago. I used to watch you sleep. Uh -uh. I did. And I would stare at you. And watch the way your eyes would flutter when you would wake up. When? Oh, when you were very little. Like this. I was this small what? Mm -hmm. I knew you when you were even smaller. Show you. When you were like this. And like this. And like this. And like this. And like this. Mm -hmm. This smallets. When you were in here. Are you sad? No, mi amor. I am very happy.
Thank you. Are you okay? Thank you. Bye. Welcome home, mi amor. <laughs> Are you? This is your brother, Wilfredo. <laughs> Do you like dulce de leche? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and this is your other brother, Israel. What did you say, Israel? I, I didn't think you'd look like this. Like what? Like us. <laughs> and your tia. Are you my brother too? <laughs> <laughs> no, mi amor. Um, um, your papi. Do you have a papi? The day you were born? I was afraid to hold you. I was afraid that I would drop you. Welcome home, baby. Here, these are for you. They're red. Mm-hmm. Your favorite color. There's someone upstairs who wants to meet you, too. Oh, yes. She has waited a long time for you to come back. How long? Your whole life. You slept with her when you were a baby. There were times when she was so scared because she thought you had forgotten about her. But we told her not to lose hope. You would come back. You know what? What, mi vida? I don't think she's scared anymore. Una, dos, 